Alright guys, what's going on? So we are farming Gluhar here. Uh, well, not necessarily farming him, I guess, but I'll need to farm him for that rogue outfit, but anyways. Huntsman Panther Racer. Um, we are spawning in right now, and uh, I'm using an SVT because everyone has it. It's a pretty simple gun. Um, figured I'll use just a gun that everyone can get. So really, 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 really broken gun, so definitely use it. Um, and real quick, just to get into it, ammo types, uh, LPS usually, it's just easier because the guards usually have level 3 helmets. Anyways, so, yeah. Um, but as you can see here, I got to spawn by the helicopter, and if I spawn on this entire side of the map, the one thing I'm going to do is go through here. Uh, this is the building I'm going to go through. And then if I spawn on dome side, I'll show you where I'll go on, a, on the map at the end of the video. But whenever I spawn near this RBSMP building, I don't know the names of the buildings on reserve, I do this exact route. I'll just do a jump peek here, make sure no one's really watching this spot, make sure no guards are like camping the run in here. Um, and it looks like I'm good, so I'm just going to run in. The only part about Gluhar that's hard is making it into the train yard. If you make it into the train yard, you kill Gluhar 90% of the time. He is brain off. I don't know what they did to him, but his AI on his guards in him is like totally tuned down this way. So anyways, um, I don't have nades, but if I did, I would throw them here. I brought no nades. I want to make it as, you know, realistic as possible for you. But I just heard him yell there, so... Um, no nades here. If I brought nades, I'd play this a lot different. But anyways, um, on the right, there's a spawn, um, but it won't shoot me, so I'll show you. So we're going to make sure we're going to take our sight off here because the PSO is not too good close range. Very, very common glue heart spawn and guard spawn is right here, so I'm just predicting it. And there's one. Took a headshot. Okay, that's great. BT, by the way. Um, here, here. So after you kill one guard, they tend to push you. You can hear him here. Moving around. That's another headshot. All right, and that's Gluhar dead, just like that. GG. So literally, that is it. If you wanted to end the video right now, you can go end the video, and that's it. The whole video is done. Um, I want to say that if you just you just need to go through that one spot. It's that simple. And Gluhar spawns here a lot. Sometimes he'll spawn. I'll show you another spot where he spawns all the time. But it's not like Killa where he's got a set spawn. So he spawns like along this whole railing there that I just showed you. Um, he spawns along that whole side of the train pretty much just standing there. And then um, he can spawn like deep as well, so right here, this whole railing. And then guards can spawn down there um, towards Hermetic and you'll only see the top of their head, but they can see your full body. So you just gotta be really careful. There's a guard in here, just saw him. And be careful with the left hand peaks on the guards. Broken gun, I'm not even playing this correctly. I'm playing like an idiot. This is like the most hot dog Gluhar kill you'll ever see in your life. Like, I'm playing it so bad. I got caught by so many guards, and I'm still doing fine. But yeah, you don't have to do any of the slow leading anymore. You just have to run at them. It's pretty crazy. Um, there's another. So that's another Gluhar spawn there. Very common spawn. And you'll see his feet. So he'll spawn there, along that whole right side of the track. And then from the train, right over there, you can see his feet. And you can tap him in the foot just like ten times and kill him. It works really well. So anyways, um, that that is that is the two most common Gluhar spawns, uh, and if you wanted to end the video, you could. If you want a more in-depth guide, I'll keep going. Um, again, this right here is a very common guard spawn, so very annoying. The guard will spawn down there, and if it's aggroed onto you, it'll just start full auditing you through the floor. So you got to be really careful about that one. Probably the last one I always kill, but again, grenades solve this problem like immediately. So no grenades, my own fault, GG. But anyways, so if you spawn near dome and all that, I'll put it on the map at the end of the video if you want to see like where to run from certain spawn locations. But um, I'd say like you just really want to try to get in. Um, you can get in from there too, but you really want to try to get in from that one spot I came in from. It's just so easy. If you spawn marked room, um, it's a little tricky. I'd say marked room and train yard spawns are probably like the two worst spawns for Gluhar. Just because Gluhar spawns along the uh, outside that on that area on that side. So all right, that scared me. Um, that it just goes to show how easy Gluhar is. Like I mean, you know, imagine that was Killa. I'm just dead. Um. So, anyways, yeah. Um, I want to stress that right right here too. I'm I'm doing a little trolling here. I want to knife the scab, but I end up not knifing it. Um, you can come in from this way. So I'm running out this way, but you can come in from this way. So this truck right here, I'll show you on the map as well. This little truck right in front of me, boom. Um, this is like a very, very common run in as well. 
So you spawn in on, and this is your way in. So there's like two main choke points. And if you can get into the tra train yard from either one of the two choke points, this one or the one I went in on the start of the video, and you just make it inside, you just have to play really slow, really smart, and you just have to jiggle peek everything. I mean, you could take your time with this. You know, it's really easy. It's not that hard, but I mean, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. It's not a big deal. I just do it fast because kind of have the hours know what I'm doing, you know? But yeah, like I said, just look, you can go, you jiggle, 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 nothing here, nothing here, just jiggling around. Um, it's not like Killa where if a guard yells, it's going to run at you instantly and make you panic. I mean, you have time. So that's just the way I'll do it. I mean, it depends where you come in from, but general strategy, something you can do is just jiggle every corner, just go really jiggly, jiggly. And if you know Gluhar's in a corner, like if you have a nade, and you know Gluhar's there, or like you saw him, or you heard him yell, because Gluhar yells randomly, then like do the slow lean and just tap him in the head. But like the guards are a joke. Gluhar is still like a boss at the end of the day, but you know, he's still really easy. So yeah, like I'm just moving around like an idiot here, just just showing you how it looks to like jiggle around. And now we're gonna go loot Gluhar because I mean, we have to loot him, right? We just have to loot Gluhar here. Um, Where'd I kill him? Wasn't here, right? No, these are guards. Where is he? Oh, he's uh he's in the train yard, I remember. He's right here. So, yeah, guys, um I'm going to go ahead and skip to a map now. Um I'm going to show you kind of like where to where to the spawns and everything. Enough talking, let's just show you. All right, guys, let's just jump into it here. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark these spawns in uh the spawns I'm going to mark in purple. Okay? So, I'm going to just go ahead and go through the spawns here. We got a spawn here, we got a spawn here, we got a spawn here. Um, we got to spawn here, we got to spawn back here, got to spawn over here, we got to spawn at Dome, we got to spawn at Hermetic, we got to spawn in this building, we got to spawn in this building, uh, in this one, in this one, in this one. These spawn, these spawn locations are outdated. They're supposed to be yellow dots for spawns, but it's they're not correct. Um, so actually, they were pretty right. Holy shit. Wait, I was kind of right. Um, this one and this one. Okay. Damn, I'm, I'm, a G, I'm a demon with this. Um, okay, anyways. So, the route is going to be in blue. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. The main thing, and again, I want to I wanna put green here. The, the two main, like, go points, like, I guess, for lack of a better term, there's a green, picture like the green gate being here to get to Gluhar, and then another green gate being, like, right here. Right? Ideally, you only go into the train yard through these two green gates. I hope that makes sense. If you spawn down here, it's much more hard. It's it's harder to get there, but I'll show you kind of the route I'll take. So let me go through and go show you the route with red. So again, these three, I'm going to just pretend all these spawns are connected. So right here, we're gonna, just going to connect all these spawns because you take the same route in every single time. Go here, here, here. Every one of these spawns converges and goes in this building. RB, SMP, whatever this building is, white bishop. You go into this building, through it, and you go out the back, right here, out the hole. You jump on this crate, you jiggle, you look around, see if there's any guards, no guards. You go over, and you go through the fence, and then you're in the train yard. You throw your nade right here, and then you start pushing like this. Makes sense, hopefully. And then this one, and this one. Again, I'm just going to go all the way around here just to be safe. I'm going to go, nah, 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 and I'm going there. Um, so that's the way I'll go. I, I try to go through this green gate, always. Even if I don't spawn right next to it, because if you go in directly in like this... There's a good chance that there's a Gluhar guard here, there's a Gluhar here, and like you're just going to get killed. So it's just like, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, you could throw a nade, and then like while they're running from the nade, you can jump in real quick if you want to do that. But that's just what I prefer to do. Now, if I spawn Dome, again, I'm going to connect all the spawns here. Hermetic, Manhole here. And this is kind of the route I'm taking. If I spawn RBST, going through here like this. And again, right here, I'm going like this. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I probably won't go this way, actually. I'll probably go uh, like this instead, like that. And again, I'm just going to get in. I'm going to go through that truck I mentioned in the video, and I'm going to get right in this way. This is where I killed that scab with a pistol in the video, and I'm going to go in through here. And then again, uh, over here is a little tricky, so this one kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest. You spawn here. I usually like to do this. I get into a fight usually, and then I forget Gluhar exists, but... I'll go like this, and then either you run in, you could run in here, which is like, you know, it's like okay, or you can go here, and you could run in like this way. 
these four spawns, these three spawns are very, very annoying. Like, if you know for sure Gluhar's in the raid and you spawn, like, up here, then you, there's no harm in going all the way around and taking, like, a five-minute run. You know what I mean? Same with, like, down here. Like, there's no harm in it. But it's just, it comes down to, like, time efficiency. Um, you know, you really don't want to waste your time running through the whole map being super slow. Like, you're honestly, at some points, just better off dying and resetting. Um... So, especially if you're just going in with an SVT, farming Gluhar, I would just do that. And again, um, don't worry about that AI scad. This map's kind of outdated. So, Gluhar spawns. I'm going to give you a Gluhar, like, I'll just kind of show you. Um, I'll use black as my color. So, Gluhar spawns very commonly right here. He spawns right here. And then also, he'll spawn along the side of this train, along this black line, all the way to the middle. And then he could spawn like over here. He really favors this one side of train yard in this black box, right? Um, so he can technically spawn anywhere, but I have only seen him in this one back right train yard. And his guards will tend to be like right around him. So, anyways, I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, just join the exclamation point Discord. Well, this isn't Twitch chat, so you can't use that command, but it should be in the, the description. And my Twitch is in the description too. Shameless plug. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully uh, this was helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, just you know, leave me a comment. I will respond to it. I respond to all the comments. Alrighty, see you guys later. Thanks.